that was pretty cool. What's up everybody, welcome back to NWIRC and today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna upgrade the shocks on this Grasshopper 2. As you can see, it's pretty wonky. Everything was installed right, but not sure if this is a typical issue, but these shocks just stick, they're kind of worthless. I don't care for how any of this works. It's just too jumpy. And the front shocks, they'll also hang up as well. Like they'll stick like that. So to fix that, I'm gonna be using these optional number one. I believe that's what they call them. I found them on eBay. It comes with a screw kit, all the hardware to mount these on the Grasshopper 2. They're also oil filled. We're gonna figure out what weights I'm gonna use and go from there. And the reason why I have the Hornet in the background is because it does have the same type of rear suspension as the Grasshopper. If you guys know the grass, the original Grasshopper, it's completely different. So we're not gonna go with this, but this one here with the stock shocks and springs all greased up, these things, it works pretty good with this one. But if you look here, the Hornet does come with aluminum shocks, oil filled, and these work great. The fronts I'm not having a problem with, they are factory. They seem to be working great. So yeah, that's a, that was an excellent build there. All these are excellent builds. But So I'm gonna go ahead and get these shocks on and I wanna see how it's gonna perform. So as you guys can see, it just does nothing but stick. I grease the shafts, I mean, on both sides, both front and rear, but they will stick. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go ahead figure out what oils I'm going to use for these and get these installed and see you soon. All right, well the shocks are installed. Very, very easy to do. Show you the front here. As you can see it's it's not so springy. Like say for example in the front of the Hornet and the front of the original Garrett's Hopper. This one I'm going to leave alone. I'm not going to upgrade the shocks here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like them very much, but you know, we gotta just run it. I mean, it's nice and smooth. The rears, like I said, could be a little tight. Not too bad, but we'll see. For those wondering, I am gonna run a 1500 Ma 3S light bulb through this baby. And also I have the Tamaya lightly tuned 28 tooth motor installed. And gonna go from there. I did use 35 weight oil and all four of the shocks. Can always take this down a notch. I'm pretty sure I might have to, but we're just gonna test it out the way it is. It's the only oil that I have. The kit did come with all the proper screws to mount your shocks. So yeah, check that out guys. Hopefully this upgrade will work. So stay tuned when we go to take this thing out for a rip and let's see how it handles. All right, let's go take this thing outside and let's see how she does. I do got that three cell battery in there. I will click her on so you can hear it. Three cells, she's ready to go. Let's check the steering, a little bit of throttle. Okay, I know she got movement. All right, let's take it outside and see how she does. All right, we are outside in the backyard where I do all my testing. So let's see how she does. This full throttle, oh man, look at, dang, this thing, just, she just wants to go. I'm gonna call it a grasshopper for nothing, huh? It's a little choppy out here, which is all right. Got some full throttle action. Looking good. Nice little jump. It's definitely soaking up the train pretty well. Like I said, a little bouncy. Could probably go a little bit lighter on that shock oil. Oops. It's okay. Yeah, I got a lot of debris out here, guys. Go ahead and try to get her out in some smoother area, but we got a bunch of sticks and twigs out here. It's also snowing on this beautiful day.
I also want to see how long this battery is going to last. It's only a 1500 mAh battery. A little too rough out here for her, but that's okay. You don't want to get that brush motor too wet. Dude, just not want to spin them tires. Look at that. And man, when she gains traction, she does good, doesn't she? Pretty cool. Well, let's check the motor temps here real quick. Oh, she is just cold. No issues at all with heat. She is taking that 3S power, no problem. Do some full throttle here. Try to keep her, oh, there we go. This is why I have to get up and go walk. Check the steering out. You guys are gonna post the steering servos that I use. They're very cheap. You get them in a pack of four, pack of two, I do believe as well. And by the way, this is the first run of this Tamiya Grasshopper 2. First time I had it out, other than the bench testing when I put all the electronics in. Hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Kind of bring me back to my childhood days. Doing pretty good, man, I'm pretty shocked. This is some rough terrain, man, let me tell you. A little rough for this thing, but it's handling it. It's soaking it up. As you guys can see, I'm not letting off the throttle. I'm getting, just giving her everything she got. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find a little bit smoother areas out here. Let her stretch her legs a little bit. Ooh, right over that big old stick too. Right. And of course, when I'm done, I will get her. Um, she'll, I'll get it all cleaned up. Uh oh. Looks like we got her stuck. That's okay. Give her a little pull. I hung up on a stick here. Like I said, you guys, we got a lot of debris out here. This little thing is taking it. Gonna try to run the battery pack down guys. Small battery, nice and light. Oops. Nice and light 3S battery. I'll get it opened up when we get back in the house and I can show you guys how small it is. Fits in there like a glove. And it's made by a Z-Pack by the way. 1500 mAh 3S Z-Pack battery. I don't have any other batteries that'll fit in that tray. The ESC claims it can handle 3S. Motor's running super cool. You guys can see I've been in it the whole time.
Oh, I like how she flips back over nice and easy. Oh, almost. That's okay. It's gonna happen, right? These weren't the best made RC cars, but they are a ton of fun. And this thing is continuing to go. Look at that. No problem. While I'm over here running this battery down, I want to explain to you guys, I am doing a giveaway on a crawler. It's been going on for, I want to say, a few months now. Getting pretty close to my 1,000 subscribers. Would like to get 1,000 likes on the video as well for when I do draw the winner for the giveaway. 1,000 likes might be too much to ask for this small channel, but we'll see what happens. It's an SCX, it's a Axial SCX24. You'll find the video, I'll link it down in the description for your chance to enter. Free to you. I probably have around, I'd say $480 to $500 invested into it. And just my appreciation to you guys for watching my videos and subscribing. And of course, liking the videos will help get the videos out to other people. Oh, almost. Man, I can't believe this battery is still going. Wow. I have to check the time on the, when I go to put this on YouTube. See how long we actually got. I never set a timer, but my God. How time we check the motor temps again. Let's see what we got. My finger's right on top of the motor and she is cold. Not even warm, wow. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I think this 28 turn is just right for, at least for these conditions. I think any faster would be probably too fast for it. I do have the Team Fast Eddie bearings in here. I don't remember if I mentioned that before. Obviously, you guys know I just upgraded the shocks. Wow, look at that. Some full throttle punches. Yeah, she's booking. Oops, a little too sharp on that turn. I gotta say, to have this much runtime out of a small milliamp battery, that's impressive. As a matter of fact, I might gear this thing a little different and maybe try to get some speed runs out of her. I can only imagine she's probably doing maybe 20 mile an hour, maybe with that 28 turn. That's not very fast at all, but hey, you know what? Sometimes it's not all about the speed. It's about bringing back memories or enjoying something you put together and going out having fun with it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. If you guys like the Tamaya Frog, I do have a full build video on that one. I'd also like to give a big shout out to RC Stuff. That guy there does a lot of cool stuff with the vintage cars as well. You want to know about batteries? You want to know about, well, I should say battery specs and everything to do with that. And uh, with his old school RC cars that does speed runs on, that's the guy to go watch. Go go show him some love. Give him a, give him a subscribe. If you did that for me, that'd be great. He's a really super cool dude down to earth. So... Go check them out, guys. All right. Ooh, got a little dip right there. Man, it's still going. Okay, so this thing has been recording for like 11 minutes so far. Wow, 11 minutes, guys, so far of non-stop. Full throttle punches and just straight out. No signs of her slowing down. Whoa, don't want to get run over. No signs of it slowing down or nothing. Oops, I hit it full throttle when I hit that dip. Hey, it happens. 
and team fast eddy bearings man definitely doing the trick Wow, this is insane. That's why I really like my Z-Packs. I use them in all my RCs from boats to, you know, obviously my cars and, and pretty much all my systems and also Gen Ace batteries I use. Wow, this thing just keeps going. Oh, oh no, she wouldn't land. Guys, I just want to keep this video going until the battery dies. Hopefully the video is not going to be too long. I might cut some of the pieces out. But the primary reason for this video is not only to run it, but to... Oh, well, I lost my antenna tube there. I put a new one of those on. Try not to flip it no more. I don't want to hurt my antenna thing. But, uh... But yeah, the whole point of this video is uh, the shocks. The shock upgrade. I didn't even bother running it with the stock shocks because I just didn't like it at all. That's just me, guys. So I figured the least I could do is upgrade the shocks. Just to get some dirt action over here. Well, and remember, this ain't my four-wheel drive, so let's see what she could do on a straight launch. Oh, yeah, look at that. Still got all the power. Come on, this is not right. gotta love it gotta love it and when you build them don't have any so you can have shelf queens in my book I only have one and that's my that is my vintage old-school Kyosho vanning the Integra vanning chain wheel four wheel drive nitro found it in mint condition thanks to Brian over at RC stuff who found it for me I did pay a premium for it but I got it. I do have a video of that thing running as well. Okay, let's see here. Full throttle. Oh my God. She's still going. This is insane. Okay guys, how long have we been going here? Now oh, almost four, or wait. Yeah, almost 15 minutes. I'll take it right to the 15 minute mark and I think I'm gonna go ahead and shut this thing down. My hands are starting to freeze. Take it back on the bench and see how she goes. Insane. Still going. Take her back out there a little bit and gonna wrap it up. We are right now at 15 minutes of runtime. <clears throat> you guys see it? That's a long time on one little battery pack like that. Of course it is chilly out here. It's about 45 or er, about 40-ish degrees out. I'm sure that's helping keeping the motor cool and all that. That's why I didn't bother bringing my heat gun out. All right, we're gonna call it here. Even though she has, she has more room to go. I'll check the voltage when I get inside on the battery pack. So yeah, guys. Full throttle right now. Look at that. Still has full power. 15 minutes of running, guys. That's insane. You get a light battery pack. Nice, small, snug. Got room for even more if you want to put lights on it. As far as room for wires and all that good stuff. All right, guys. Let's just see you out. I will see you when I get inside. All right, we are back inside. I had to warm up my fingers because it was cold outside. But yeah, look at that. Nothing broke. Everything is still in one piece. The shocks held up great. Might have been a little too bouncy, but that's okay. I haven't even run this one yet. Actually, none of my kits. I have more than this. I got more on my shelf. I'll show you guys in a different video as I go to run them. I will tell you my next build will be that Blackfoot right over there this off here let's check out the inside real quick there we go check it out
nothing much to see. We'll go ahead and get the, oh, hey guys, on, this, on these receivers that, or I'm sorry, on the ESCs that these come with, you're gonna see some jumpers here. You're gonna see the very front row is gonna be the one that's gonna change the direction of your motor, I do believe, but I do know that the second one is goes from NICAD to LiPos. So out of the box, I had to pretty much just move it over one notch. That way it picked up the three cells on the LiPo. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Go ahead and get these clips out. Give me one second, I can make this easier with the right tool. Or just anything that you get in there with. Sorry guys, I'm one-handed. Let's go ahead and get this one out. This one out here. All right, let's pop this door off and I'll show you that battery. And there it is, check it out. The Z1500 Ma, this battery, cold to the touch, I kind of figured. But there you have it, 3S LiPo. I'll check the voltage on it later. I'm sure it's still fine. And you guys saw it, 15 minutes of runtime. Wow, that's just incredible. And that was pretty much to the wall. So, okay guys, I hope you like what you saw. I'm gonna get this baby cleaned up, dried off, and get her set up for either the next modification or the next run. All right guys, have a great day.